So once again, a quick introduction to Jyoti, who is doing our masterclass in November. Um, our first and the only one, in fact, for this month, because we have really wanted to focus on bringing you some great quality content, given that this is a very busy festive period where you are busy um, trying to sell online, especially given the fact that this year has been a challenging year for other forms of selling with respect to bazaars, pop-up stores, or direct selling to customers has been a bit of a challenge, which really made it all the more important for stores to go online or businesses to go online and um, look at social media as a great way to create some awareness, generate awareness and reach out to customers. But how do we do um, well on social media, especially given that it is a constantly changing um, phenomenon with respect to so many different channels and um, chat, um, this Facebook, this Instagram, and uh, the fact that customers are also sort of like continuously evolving, right? So how do we write profitably or convert customers um, easily or well on that particular channel is very, very important. And for, to that extent, we have here with us Jyoti. She is a um, very well-recognized writer here at Base of Singapore. She's also um, a passionate yoga um, teacher and you know, a con consultant to uh, business uh, sort of uh, business consultant in that sense to small business owners um, and do add if I have left anything from you know the other things that you actually do Jyoti um, but the reason why we're excited to have her here with us is that she also writes a lot of content for Shopmatic and she has a very strong understanding of small businesses and how the challenges are for doing things online not just from the perspective of only selling, but also sort of like content creation, uh, engaging with customers, um, you know, um, how do you sell better, the whole spectrum of things, and which is why we really value what she has to share with us today. So, Jyoti, over to you. Thank you, Uma, as always. Very honored that I have this opportunity again, and I am looking forward to bringing more value again to the merchants here. And thank you for joining all of you. And let's get started. This session, as you know, is about engaging customers profitably on social media. And um, the important learnings that we will take away from this today are how to choose the stories that you want to share. There's always going to be something about what you include, what you leave out. We will definitely touch on that. And if you have questions on that, feel free to put them in the Q&A like, um, like Uma said, and we will discuss them once the webinar is over as well. How to construct your posts. There are some basic rules that you can follow, and we will come to that as well. And also how to create a strong call to action so people actually respond to your post. So all these will be the main learning, but of course, along with that, everybody learns what they, everybody learns something different from every webinar. So I'm glad you are here. And I hope you keep your minds and hearts open and go back with whatever learning that you get from here. Any nugget is valuable. It's always a learning process. So the job's never done. And there is no destination. Every time you attend a webinar, every time you read something new, if you've learned some, a small nugget, it's worth it. So let's get started. I'm going to bring to you a perspective from a yoga and a writer's view. So think of your digital vista, the panoramic the view that you take. Think of it from two perspectives. One is from the writer's view and one is from the yoga, yogi's view. So when you are writing something, make your business content engaging. And also like, like it says, express your ideas very simply. And then as a yogi, make that community warm, the one that you're spreading on social media and make those practices enriching for yourself and as well as for people who are engaging with you. So these keep, if you keep this vista in mind, your digital vista, it's, it's like a perspective, an approach that you can use to guide your entire process, you, to guide all, all that you share on social media. Having said that, it is important. And if you're wondering why, it's true that the more you engage, the better you're marketing yourself. So if you are in e-commerce, remember it's not just about sharing. Writing on social media, is different from actually getting engagement on social media. Your words matter. The pictures you share matter. The videos you share matter. So the whole idea of today is to bring this holistic approach to sharing on social media. So you are able to engage customers better, potential customers, and you're able to 
use that as an effective channel to market yourself. Just a minute. Yeah. Thank you. And so this is this is what we are going for. We are going for people engaged with your post, looking at you on different channels, and excited to to hear from you. So what is your starting point? Definitely, there is going to be a different platform for everybody. Not it's not one size fits all. So of course, definitely Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest. These are the popular platforms, and Facebook and Instagram alone, they they have the majority share when you do sell. And most customers do find you know value in the, setting themselves up on these platforms. But if they if these are not the ones for you, or if you prefer choosing chat mediums, you want to choose Line, Telegram, whatever it is, but choose your platform right and start from there. Pay attention to where your customers are and and stay there. Go where your customers are. Do your research. Definitely understand your audience. You might assume that you're targeting people and you know who your product is targeted to, but you might be surprised as to who else um, is interested in what you have to say or what you have to sell. So keep your research ongoing and start to understand all aspects of them, not just demographics, also where they are, what kind of language they speak, what words they use, what forums they visit. All of that is important because that helps you decide where you want to be, what kind of words you want to use, and how you want to present yourself to your audience. Of course, it goes without saying, social media is never this, ne not just about words. So though we are doing this to understand how to write very well for social media, you have to remember images and videos have to be used generously within that. And now this comes to your writing toolbox. What will you carry with you? These are things you remember to take along with you. Definitely use the active voice. There's no point beating around the bush. Say what you want to say, direct and straight. Keep it simple. And this call to action is something that I want to bring out. It is literally, it, it's, it's like, you know, you say, click here to know more or read here. Just digressing a little. Don't use the word click too much because that's a bit overused at the moment. <laughs> But try and, you know, like if you want to know more, this is the link or here's what we did here. And, you know, what, what do you feel about this? Um, write in to us for that or add a comment here. Whatever you want people to do, whether you want them to empathize, put a comment or click a link or buy from you, whatever it is you want to do, you are calling them out to take that action. And that's what the CTA, if you see it in the, in the presentation, that's what it means. It's a call to action. Keep that in mind. And try and use it not all the time, but most times, because you don't want to be an overselling, calling to action, social media person all the time. Definitely use automation. It's easier to do it these days. We will. I will also uh, share with you what Shopmatic has done for to help automation. But in any case, there are. For example, if you're on Facebook, you are able to use. Um, you know, you're able to synchronize your Facebook and Instagram posts. Whatever automation is available to you from platforms, just understand that a little, spend a little time to know how to use it and try and become comfortable with using that to post across social media channels so you don't have to struggle to put up your content in each one of them separately. And equally, the voice is the same. You have the same words, the same voice, your branding is the same, and you come across as somebody recognizable. So that is that is an important aspect to why you you would like to use automation as well. We have to go through this commandment. Thou shalt post regularly. Please note, regularly does not mean very frequently. You have to find the right medium between too frequent and not frequent enough. So regular, definitely. Consistent, definitely. Need not be too frequent, need not be very less frequent. You have to find what works for you, but definite regularly. That this is what we spoke about using the customer's language. You cannot use their language unless you know who they are. So the research about your audience has to be ongoing. Spend some time spending, you know, staying in the forums they are in. Join groups that you have common interest in. Understand what the pain points are or what people are communicating and talking about. That makes it easier for you to actually reach out to them and to use 
their language. Their language and your voice. You notice that? You have to develop your voice though. It's the customer's language, yes. This is what they, the pain points are. This is, this is the words they use. But the voice is definitely your own. And this means your brand voice. So if you are a formal sort of brand, use that formal sort of voice. If you are a, a friendly sort of brand, use a friendly sort of voice. Whatever it is you're using, use the customer's language, but keep your voice so you're recognizable. You are the same person consistently the same brand, the same merchant. So everybody knows how to know you. They know how to recognize you. They know you. Yes, definitely. Not much to be said against that. Stay positive. And the reason all of this is important, these commandments, is because it's about building connections and relationships. It's not about just selling. Don't make a sell. Develop a customer instead. And that, that, that is the difference. Social media is not just about making a sale. It's about developing customer relationships, connections. It's about building communities. The whole, the whole ethos about the yogi's approach of a warm community, keep that in mind. It's about, it's about that. So where will you find your story? There are lots of places. And sometimes you're stuck with, for ideas. But as a, as a general you know, rule of thumb, any story that illustrates you doing the work that you say your brand does, you know, say you're a sustainable brand. And if you're wearing something which is sustainable, Walk the talk, illustrate that, use those. Maybe you want to share what you, what you found something interesting about the production process or anything at all. As you actually use, you walk the talk as a brand. Give them some information, a laugh or inspiration. It's not easy, by the way, to give the laugh. I've tried that. And some people are, are um, talented with that and some are not. So don't force the laughs out. Whatever works naturally for you is good enough. And there is never any harm in showing an emotional side or appealing to the emotions, but be very careful. Again, everything is about moderation. So while it's good to be able to incite the emotions um, in, a, in a nice manner, in a positive way, and giving them information and all of that, there is never a good idea to go all out emotional on your, on your post, and especially not if you're developing relationships and connections yeah, that's not going to be a long-term strategy. So here, these are some ideas as well. This is definitely not a complete list. This is just a snapshot of what you can do. There's so much more you can do. But if you keep your focus on what your customer, your, as your customer-centric and your brand-centric, keep these two focuses, then you come across lots of ideas that start rolling out. You know, you can say, if, if it's from the brand's perspective, then you can say, things that you're um, let me try the point here things that you're loving or some advice whatever this behind the scenes works really well most of the time if you have something interesting to share this struggle thing is again about emotions but uh, don't don't overdo it you don't want to be a soft story it's nice if you can inspire people if you can offer some true honest um, learnings and whatever other mistakes the lessons all of this, as long as you're true and honest with your, with, with your customers, they're always very welcome. Similarly, from the customer's perspective, testimonials, success stories, even featuring customers who've used your products. Maybe you can make small videos and or you can have them share or you can just you know, thank them. Whether you are posting or getting your customers to create content you know, for you, all of that is important to keep that focus and it works well when there is there is an engagement from both sides. Live sessions, whether it's a webinar or whether it's a live session on Facebook or these are, are popular as well. So consider adding a few live sessions for your for your um, clientele. There is Instagram TV, there's Facebook Live, you can do all of that. If you if you are running out of ideas, you can think of some how to videos, ask customers to input and create where where my products and take some snaps those kind of uh, contests or you know those kind of uh, uh, ideas as well so feel free to use to think through this is just a starting point of ideas this is an example of a store set up on shopmatic shopmatic coco asia they they've uh, they do really nice coconut oil based products pure organic coconut oil and they this is part of their live sessions. So there's advice given, like we said, 
and they added comments. You see, you can continue adding comments during the session to increase engagement. So they have increased the views here. So this, this helps. Keep, look at other people, look at what others are doing and keep that, those ideas in mind to inspire yourself and to see what's happening and also experiment and see what works for your brand. This is another uh, website set up on Shopmatic. And here, this, here's what the customer being hero is, an, uh, is, uh, is uh, illustrated. On Mother's Day, they have put up this video about Mother's Rock and told you, we've all probably seen this video, so it's nice that it shows up here and happy Mother's Day. It engages with the customers who are clientele who would be buying this kind of jewelry from the brand, from the merchant. To keep in mind, definitely to post or not, there are some notes, and though you, you definitely should be honest and authentic and original in your posting, stay away from negative, political, religious, or self-promoting posts. Stay away from those that are not, in even posts that you take from somewhere and you don't attribute them, right? That's, that's also a no-no. If you are using something, unless it's a um, free creative uh, image from, you know, website or from, um, platforms like Pexels or wherever that offer you the ability to take free images, that's fine. But make sure that you attribute any content that you do take from the internet and give it the right uh, credit that is due. And definitely keep that content, whatever you are uh, posting positive and true to your branding. So that, so that people can recognize you and, and know again that it's you. This question, how shall I construct my post? Literally, it is part science, part art. The art part, well, we come to all of that. So then you must have a goal and caption. And uh, the headline, when you look at headlines, think about are they useful? Are they urgent? Like, you know, create some sort of an urgency for them and create some kind of usefulness for them. Come to the point directly. These are important aspects to keep. Also, keep them specific. Don't be around. Don't beat around the bush with your headlines and captions. In in fact, in your captions and descriptions, if you do use your keywords, keep them higher up in your captions. The first few words, because it's literally the first few characters only, 10 to 40 characters that people will read, and that's it. So keep that in mind and try and put use those more. The keywords are what you want to be born. Uh, what do you want to be found for? So when people are searching, you want to be found for, say, jewelry or pearl jewelry or whatever it is that you want to be found for. So keep that as your keyword in the description as far as possible in the earlier part of your description. And you will have to use hashtags. If you're not familiar with hashtags, if you go up onto, say, Pinterest, you will find and start to search, um, say, recipes or, say, sweet potato recipes, and you will come across the whole uh, banner that talks about the whole uh, banner that talks about sweet potato recipes, sweet recipes, vegan recipes, potatoes, vegan recipes using potatoes, and all sorts of ideas that people have been searching for. Those are clearly what people are searching for, and you can try and use some of those as your hashtag if you want to be found within that. So you can match to what people are searching and use them in your hashtags. And we will, I'll show you how you can be a little unobtrusive with your hashtags rather than you know, having them all in your face. You do need to use them, but how to be a little unobtrusive in using them. Remember ideal word counts, it's always good to be shorter the better of course, but on occasion, it's all right to tell a long story, to speak about it, to make it interesting. Use the same idea about headlines, captions, use all of that and, and write it. If you, are linked, if you have a nice story on your blog, you don't have to paste it here just add a link. Or if you have a nice story on a website or any other social channel, don't post it or don't paste it everywhere to make it a long one. You can add a link there with a small headline or a caption. This is why I started doing this, or this is why I do this, you know? And then the link, it's always a good idea, and very att uh, attractive. So this is an example. Um, I just want to know if the thumbnails are blocking, I, I assume not. So this is an example of the story that you captured. They, they started writing with the story, masks sewn with love. And the first few lines are interesting. They draw in and it, they, they are very um, intriguing. 
and then there is see more and then when you click on that see more there is where all the hashtags are aha you see so the hashtags have been put further down in the comments so you do will you do use you use the mask sewn with love sg united whatever you are you are using community togetherness and great you must use hashtags but you can put them lower down in the comments or just you know leave the first few words to be to be found and and this is uh, this is another example to you this is another example that uh, has got on uh, on pinterest uh, sorry on instagram also set up uh, with the shopmatic website and they've done a great job as well of first ex explaining all their uh, all the the features and the benefits of saying of using their products and then also they are talk talking about their they add a part here that says link in bio let me use the pointer here you see the link in bio so they have put the link in their bio and here is where they add all the hashtags so this is another fun and interesting way of just doing that going on with some tips for all the all the platforms that you are currently using at least the popular ones definitely tie in text to visual so you could be introducing the video or the product feature strategically targeting this is an important one because if you decide who your customer is keep that customer in mind and then try and identify that speak to that customer directly this is actually what facebook does as well and this is what they do when they when you uh, target your uh, ads specifically for a customer and that's what you can start doing when you speak when you write on your post as well have one one customer in mind and speak directly to that customer again like we said use the hashtags and emojis definitely but use them all in moderation continue using that break some break some punctuation rules so emojis definitely are not standard punctuation break those rules break the rules about capitals and you know capital letters and exclamation marks break those rules because they're not always rude and aggressive you can use them in moderation to create some excitement and in for instagram use the hashtags again make them less annoying use emojis again captions with keywords you can add links in comments in instagram so you can put links as as you fill in the comments because you are only able to put the link to the website only in your in your bio and the reason align words to visual is important is because if say you have you have um, uh, an offer going and uh, and you you have put up a post about this is the offer there you must add what that means and what this visual means so it's important to align it's in an easy 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 strategy to just open up and align those visuals to your to the image that you have for pinterest again remember pinterest is not going to search on brand so when you are looking for hashtags or when you are looking for keywords don't look for don't try and get only your brand out there your people are searching for ideas you know idea for crochets maybe idea for for recipes maybe idea for knitting knitting cushion covers or you know so so look at that search look at that hashtag based on ideas for if you are if you are putting up things on pinterest relevant keywords to yourself definitely and you must again use include your chosen keyword in the first few words so this is important you keep the hashtag later more specific and or when you when you when you start opening up your when you do your search it's more more idea based but your hashtags which are which are included those can be more specific don't take too generic ones because then you are not able to to really identify or not able to you will get lost in the crowd so start making that more more generic more specific as you start adding hashtags into the comments or into your caption here is an interesting um, interesting automation that we spoke about whatsapp chat messenger selling now you if say for instance you are you are um, you are approached by somebody on messenger 
who would say who says like they would like to buy the facial cleanser from you say and you can now offer a single checkout link and that checkout link like just like this from your website which will take you and you know take you to the next to the product and to the availability and the payment payment and shipping instructions in a single way in a single line and you don't have to go back and forth with your with your uh, merchant to to be able to and you don't have to write millions of messages to get the same information across that's that's one of the powers of automation here on the right is this example on say on whatsapp you could say you could send your product information and you say i think you like this product check it out it's a simple pre pre filled um message for you so you can just see straight away forward that it's have it's currently available this is the one i was talking about the example from shopmatic so say you have some products to sell or you to share you can choose to share that share that information on any of these any of the you know chat or whatsapp or or hangouts or telegram messenger and easily and there this is an example of how it came to me for the example so these correlating this is this is my whatsapp and they will come with the information of the product or if i want to buy them you can just this is my shopmatic check out here and link on that and it's so easy the messages are pre-filled you can use this to send to any number of people you can use to send it to uh, on any any platform that you like so that way it becomes easy and you don't have to pay too much attention the automation takes the other thing away from your mind you don't have to pay too much attention to what are the words i should i should write and how should i sound what is what are the uh, what's what's valuable here now we spoke about how can i urge people to engage and what's important here and i'd like you to pay a little attention is you are telling people to come on buy this i have a you know buy this discount or buy this product it's on discount and buy it that's what you want them to do buy it and but why should they buy it that's the other thing if you can add that to your call to action in a sentence or in a in a in a gentle way or on the button whatever you like that when you give them the reason to do that that makes it more compelling so for example if you were to say that feel like this this is offer these are time bound events so 11 11 20 this you know um or 10 10 20 you have these sales on this is for today this is the october sale and this is a time bound thing you're giving an idea to people to 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 buy the products that are on discount and why because it's bound by time or why because you believe in it or why give them some more than just do it and when you do that you start to get more engagement from from your followers from your fans they more more interested in what you're doing because there's not just a do 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 there's also a why are you doing this you know why why is this important and how does this uh, help them so keep all of that in mind when you are writing out your uh, your post here are a dozen a dozen bonus tips which i will let you read as i bring them out we have covered a lot of them already this be a little mysterious provoke response response the whole idea is to get engagement and say for instance you you say you turn vegan for instance and you want to say this is what and you want to promote um, your baking you know you want to promote some eggless cake and then you could just say this is why i turned vegan and have a link there or whatever or you know this and so that you provoking response people will be interested in knowing and they click on that link it it sort of inspires a little more engagement so it helps to do to do that you fix it definitely you know to create conversations encourage conversations you could have questions ask questions the simplest way to do people are doing that all the time but don't just ask questions for the sake of asking make it a little meaningful have have some have something useful and new to say for those questions ask them ask you know get engagement this is another one too when people know so many people have done this it sort of encourages and urges them to also be part of the 75% that have that use this color and auto decide do i like am i part of the 75 or do i like the 25 you know so use some 
some data, some numbers, that helps as well. Testimonials is a big one too. If you can get people to comment, to give testimonials on Facebook, let it be all on Instagram or, or Pinterest, any engagement is really valuable and useful for you. These sins, definitely. Just like we had the commandments, we have to have the sins. <laughs> So again, you know, too frequently or too infrequently, too many keywords or too few keywords, all of this, long-winded sentences, all of this, you have to find the right sweet spot for yourself. If anybody tells you this is it, they don't, it, no, it's wrong because you have to find your own spot. It will come, but try, try it, be regular, be consistent, try it out and you will find the answer. This is an, an interesting and useful tip because if you use um, something that you have on your website, you can just add a header or a lead in and post it on short social media channels. Use a link to that. It also links up to your website and um, it helps you build, build a community, build a following as well and gives you content to constantly, constantly engage with. Thank you very much for listening. I'm going to open up for questions, and I think Uma has, um, has, do you have questions, yeah. Uma? Thank you. Thank you so much, Jyoti. I hope it was valuable. This. <laughs> it was, it was, I think so. And I think the um, timing of it is extremely opportune. Like I said, you know, we are now here in almost the end of November and hitting December, which is yes. uh, the peak sort of like um, sales season. And typically for small business owners, it's an extremely important period at any, in a, even in a normal year and all the more important this year. Um, so thank you very much for this particular session. I'm just going to quickly move on to the Q&A, but before I do that, um...